Hi everybody, welcome back to Tap That. Today on Brews and Reviews, for the brew, we're gonna be doing Spotzel, Spotzel's Spotzel. Shiner Candied Pecan. Sounds gross. And yeah, for gross. the review, <laughs> we're gonna be doing something a little different here. Everybody <laughs> says if you can feed it to your dog, you can eat it yourself. We're gonna be doing Dogsters Ice Cream Style Treats for Dogs. I'm pretty not excited. What about you? I'm also not excited, but let's see what's on tap. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm not excited about this episode in either form of the fashion. I'm not excited for that beer. I'm not excited for these dogs or <laughs> treats. Um, but me and I are really going to ask the question here. If it's good for your dog, can you eat it? We did Google this. We do dogster specifically. They did say this is safe for human consumption. <laughs> While they did say, though, it's not going to be good. They warned you right on the website. They said, eh. It's not. It's meant for a dog's palate, but you know we'll be fine with it. So it sounds like you can try it at home. We can try it at home. Yeah. We only got two flavors because I didn't want to go crazy. I don't even know if there is more flavors, um, but we got Dogsters nut, Nuttle, Nuttle and Cheese flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Nuttle is, and then we got Minty Kibasali kib Fresh flavor. <laughs> so mint and peanut butter and cheese, I think. But it says. Veterinarian recommended, dog approved. Some fun ways to serve a dog. Place the cup on the floor, hold the cup in your hand. So if I hold the cup on my, yeah. I'll eat it off the floor like a dog and you can hold yours okay. in your hand. I'll be the proper we'll pop dog. treat out of the <laughs> cup and into the bowl. I'm just gonna eat it with a spoon. But first, this is a beer show. So, what beer are we drinking? Spotzel's Shiner Candy Pecan. Shiner Pandy. So the Spotzels is the brewery. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what the Shiner is. I guess the type of beer, maybe, and the I, Candy Pecan variety. They, yeah, they might. I mean, and I, I've, I've seen things by this brewery. I've never drank anything, but I bet they make a Shiner, and then this is Shiner Candy Pecan, like mm, a flavored, like a flavored shiner. version. Of yeah, it. yeah. All I right. bet that's what well, this is. Let's uh, get in on that. Mm, can't wait. Very can't excited. Wait. Now, as you guys know on this show, we're not very big fans like of, this, uh, of these dark beers, stuff like that. Had a chance to get the goblets out, though. Excited for that. I would say, I, although they're not my favorite, I probably like them a little, maybe more than you do. I think you do. I think you're a little bit... Um, now, I'm even in regular life not a big sweets person, so anything like this is... It almost is trying to mimic sweet, and then it gets bitter which to me is just what coffee is all the time. Like, it tastes like coffee to me. And I'm not a big coffee fan either. I, coffee's okay, but I'm not a huge coffee fan. So Smell well, it. You smell that? You, it's coming? That's, that that's, a, that's a storm thing to smell things. Well, it just came up in my face, so. Yeah. <laughs> it does smell. Let's uh, tap that and get into it. Yeah, definitely coffee. Yeah, I right. mean, I've said this about other beers like this. I couldn't drink a ton of these. I couldn't even, I probably wouldn't even drink this whole thing, but if this was on, like, a flight, you know, when you get flights at breweries. Oh, yeah, I'd drink a whole. I could think I could drink a flight of this. Like, this wouldn't be, not a whole flight, like, no, one like beer. No, like, in a flight, yeah. I see the appeal of them. Like, I understand why people like them. It's just not for me. Like, this flavor, hold on, I'm reviewing it too soon. Yeah, we are. Um, we are. I was thinking we're jumping right in. Just for the flavor, it is very sweet. The pecan does come through. Mm -hmm. um, I actually wish the pecan could through a little bit more. I wish it was a little nuttier. This kind of tastes like um, those pecan roll-ups that you get. It's a little oh, sweet. Oh, the swirly like, things, yeah, yeah. It's a little too sweet. I wish the nuttiness came through. Yeah, the forward. candied comes through. Yeah. yeah, I wish the nuttiness came through a little bit more. I think let's give the people what they want and try these ice creams. <sighs> okay. Which one you want to start with? I'll just go with the worst one. Get the nuttily cheddar. You think the nuttily and cheese is going to be worse than the mint one? Yes, 100%. Oh, I'm, I actually <laughs> disagree. I think this one's going to be better. But we'll, right. we'll, we'll start with this one. No color. No color. It does look peanut butter. It does kind of look peanut butter. Dogsters. Ice cream treats for dogs. And again, I'm going to show the camera this. This is kind of what it looks like. You got your dogsters, ice cream treats, nuttily and cheese flavor. All those dogs aren't cute. They got very hairy dogs for these boxes. Yeah. Like, they look like they be messy with but ice this cream. This dog's cute. Yeah, these dogs on the front would be super <laughs> messy. That's a good point. They would be super messy with ice cream. All right. I'm going to get a little. I'm going in. Slice it. I'm going in. Oh, I just wanted to give you a chance. Oh my gosh, here we go. Oh, you went in, in. All right. All right, let's tap, tap that. Mm, that's very sad. Oh. 
can't even eat it. That's so gross. That is awful. Give me this beer. <laughs> oh no. The cheese comes through a lot. A lot! It's, it's just cheese! It tastes like ice cream cheese. <laughs> this is so disgusting! I can't even eat it. I can't. Are you gonna eat that bite? I just, I, I gotta give him a good review. Right, well, come I on, let's do it. Alright. You got a way bigger bite. Let's eat you don't, the bite. You don't have to eat that bite, Ember. I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do it. Here. I'm gonna. You see that bite? I'm gonna put it on my palate some more so I can give it a fair review. You ready? Let's eat the bite. Put it on my lip. Just do it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna three, two, one. No. Eat this bite. No. <laughs> Just you put it on your lips. We'll review it. There's so much cheese. Oh my god, it tastes like you know that beef jerky cheese you get, where no. it's like cheese and like a slip of beef jerky. <laughs> you like the warm cheese, yeah. like the warm jerky cheese. Yes. Not good, like cheese, like the most without process, salt. Yeah, the most There's processed no cheese you could find in there. And the, but you smell the peanut butter. Like smell it. I don't know if it's peanut butter, but it is nut. Some I, what is nuttily? We have to look. That Maybe up. cashew. There's a nut flavor, but you can't taste it. You I can't can taste it. You, you just that. taste cheese. That's that's pretty rough. All right, let's get into label. So here's the Shiner label candy pecan. Actually, a pretty cool label. I, don't I like it. the label. Yeah. And we basically picked these beers out for labels. Like, oh, for sure. Like I I love this label more than any other episode because we went and just did a mix of six here. And like, so these ones, I've looked at interesting beers and grabbed them. Yes, so, yeah. So this one caught my eye um, enough that I was like, oh, let's get it. The font catches me. The yeah. font of Shiner catches my eye. I think, I feel like I'd like this if we were eating like a piece of pumpkin pie. Maybe, oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe pe pe candy like, pecans. Well, maybe definitely we, dessert. It's a dessert. It's definitely a dessert beer to go with our dog dessert. Um, <laughs> yeah. But no, it's fine. The label's cool. I'm gonna do the little, I'm gonna read the little thing on the back we like to do. Mm -hmm. It says, crack one open. When it's finally sweater weather, welcome it with a candied pecan ale in hand. Brewed with roasted praline pancake. Pecans, it's almost a pancake. Pancans. This robust porter. Yeah, it's, oh, it's porter. a porter. Okay, this there robust it is. porter okay. provides subtle notes of roasted pecan, vanilla, caramel, and brown sugar. Do you see pecan or pecan? What are you? Oh, I'm a pecan. You're a pecan person? Yeah. What do you guys say? Pecan or pecan? Pecan. It's probably pecan, though. No, I feel like it'd be a no. It'd be pecan. Pecan. What doesn't It's matter? pecan because C A N is can. Yeah. Sorry. Crafted to the perfected company of this cold tech of those cold Texas winters. Ah, <laughs> cold. So I'm guessing this is brewed in Texas. Enjoy. Shiner is a place, by the way. Okay. I'll it's, see. This is every drop of Shiner is brewed in Shiner, Texas. This doesn't seem like a good Texas beer. No, I don't feel like <laughs> Texas wouldn't. I feel like people, and not that they wouldn't like it, but like. It's warm when down When do they have there. sweater weather? I mean, yeah. they've been getting some crazy, crazy they weather lately. This, I think when you move to a warmer climate, your um, blood gets thinner. So like, like 50 of them is like, oh my God, it's freezing. Where to us, it's like, eh, weather. Well, we, we live in the Northeast, so like we're to, cool. To come to that, like remember I we went to Florida and yeah. it was like 80 degrees. We're in our bathing suits and yeah. they're walking around in sweaters. Yeah, so what are got, we like, doing? Yeah, long sleeve shirts on. <laughs> I'm like, uh, no, thank you. It's Gorgeous out here. I'm a flippy floppies in my <laughs> bathing suit. This has gotta be better. I'm with you now. This... I mean, I know you like cheese, but. Let Can me smell it? Let me smell it. I barely smell mint, though. Yeah. It's worrisome. <laughs> uh, this almost. I mean, this one's like it's, a little browner. It's got the caramel for color, though. Yeah, which. What does your dog care? I don't know. <laughs> they don't. Alright. I, I would... don't even think they could see the color, to be honest. Oh, I, yeah. I go in for it every time. You do get big old bites every time. All right. <laughs> Tap that. I just touched your eyes. It's fine. Right. <laughs> oh, better. Better, but still not good. Not good. <laughs> oh. No, man. It's not as repulsive as the other one. Though. No. The other I could one, swallow this one. Yeah. I swallowed that. I could I could eat this. There's still like, um. There's like dog food taste like or a, something. Um, like, <laughs> like a meatiness to it that I don't like. It's that crude protein. The cr yeah, there's that crude really fat. I could eat that. All right. I mean, I wouldn't sit down to eat. Yeah, but I wouldn't like that. No. But like it's not. But that one, I couldn't even keep it in my mouth. Yeah, like, that one. <laughs> it goes so All right. Hard. I think you win this fight. Dogster's mint is the better human one. If, you, if 
if you're trapped in a bunker and this is what you got left. Go for the mint first. Do the mint first. Or if you want to save best for last, <laughs> go for that nasty cheese. <laughs> the mint one wasn't bad. I am not going to finish that. I don't think I, I'm going to. But I'm with Emma. That one didn't taste nearly as bad. <laughs> That one, that one was so rough. Yeah, I couldn't even keep it in my mouth. Like, I put it in my mouth and I was like, what? Nope. <laughs> do you guys want to see us eat more dog food? I'll eat dog food for this channel. I don't I'll care. Do, I'll eat dog food. I'll eat dog I'll do anything for you. <laughs> oh, no. He might be here alone. <laughs> All I'm saying is you just told the internet you would do anything. For yeah, them. well. No. <laughs> just make me famous. Just make me famous. All right, let's, let's finish this off. So we got we got content. I find it strange that they don't put the supporter on the front. I think it's to like get people away from it. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> don't tell them it's a porter. I mean, <laughs> porters, and I'm not saying they're bad, but they have to be one of the least popular beer types. I mean, not that people don't drink them. I'll tell you, though, when I bought this, I thought it was a stouter reporter. Like, yeah, just too. from the name of it. But, you, like, you, when I couldn't find it on the front, I found it very strange. You do anything pecan nutty uh, yeah you do coffee it, coffee it, 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 automatically i'm like oh that's a porter exactly i just find it on odd that it's not there on the front it's here in the back well content also comes in at a kind of underwhelming six percent it is underwhelming um, yeah. if you do a thick beer like this i like a good up uh, push it up, up eight push it up push it up into the thing if i'm Nine. gonna if i'm gonna suffer through this what did we get we got a stout one time called embers remains shout out to Appalachian, Appalachian Brewing, Brewing Company. Company. It was twelve percent. Yeah, it was high. Yeah, it was. I mean, it wasn't yeah. super good, but I wouldn't say it was any worse than this. Like, I got a growler of it. It couldn't have been terrible. Yeah, I mean, it was yeah. rough. This is sweeter and like nicer, mm -hmm. but for fucking almost double the percentage of alcohol, I don't need the sweet. I'm good without that. Yeah. So, content. I'm not super thrilled about. I don't think I'm gonna finish this whole beer. I'm gonna drink I'm it here. Done. I might as well. But I <laughs> let's get into the review real yeah. quick. We um I'd say taste wise, while it's not for me, because I'm not a sweets person, I do see the sweet. The sweet comes through, it's not super bitter. This would taste to me like a very well um creamed coffee, something like that. Mm -hmm. Um little more bitter than like that, but if you would get like a pecan drink at like a Starbucks or something, I imagine it would be a similar flavor profile. Oh, a little more bitter though. You just gave me a brilliant plan mm. I, to mix it with like a coffee. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But <clears throat> so I could see the flavor profile, not for me personally. So unfortunately I'm not the market for it, but you know, not a bad flavor profile. I'm not going to hate on too much. Label. I actually like the label. I like the very, um, she said about the lettering, it's very like German to me. Yes. Um it's yeah. very like it makes me Beery. feel like makes me feel like mm -hmm. I could get it at like a pub in like <clears throat> another country or something. I like that. Um content I think is kinda weak. Six percent's really nothing. Um not for something this thick or anything. Um so I would give it I'd give it a five point three. I think it's better than average. Um, but it's just not for me. And that's a good score for me because it's just not for me. That's mine. 5.3. Mine's not much higher than that. Um, whereas I do, I like the porters and the stouts a little bit more than Alex. It's not going to be my first choice when I go to the store. But, you know, if I would drink this if it were given to me, maybe like at a dessert for dessert. Um, I, I'm going to go like a 5.5. 5. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, I mean, like you said, the, I love the label yeah. and the contents meh. Yeah, the content actually hurt it the most for me here. Mm -hmm. If it was up in the eights, I would have been a higher five. I'd have been closer to a six um, if it was a higher content. But, you know, don't eat dog ice cream. It's not very good. It's not ice cream. Um, trick your kids with it, though. I bet that'd be funny. Um, <laughs> but, you know, but the beer, pretty good. Get the beer. I think next we're going to do some non-alcoholic hop water. Um, we're going to review some hot yes, water. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll get into that. I'm pretty excited for that. So as always, guys, please do not forget to follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Let us know what you guys think. You want to see us do more things like that? You want to see us do more stouts? Um, I'll, maybe I'll get used to them. But as <laughs> always, guys, please, please, please. Don't forget to tap that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.